Tear gas, water cannons, stone throwing mobs, all in the heart of Europe. No, it's not Greece. There's protests there today, too. But this is Belgium. <laughs> More than 100,000 protesters marched in Brussels against the government's austerity measures. The violence flared up at the end of an otherwise peaceful protest. Joining us in the now tonight is Bert de Belder, member of National Council of the Workers' Party of Belgium. Thanks for being with us. You, of course, were at these demonstrations. Tell us, how did the violence flare up? Well, the violence was already only a very minor point at this uh, protest rally, which was really massive. It was the biggest protest rally on social issues since 20 years. So that's the main point, that 120,000 people uh, came out in the streets of Brussels to protest the rightist anti-austerity uh, measures of the government. And there was only a very small group of a few hundred uh, protesters uh, who uh, attacked the police or and who were attacked by the police. Uh, of course, we can understand a certain amount of anger uh, among the protesters, among the workers who are attacked in their social welfare, in their jobs, in their salaries, in their pensions. But of course, the large majority of the protesters uh, preferred to protest peacefully. Uh, it's an uh, impressive it's turnout. You give it over 100,000 100, people. You say 120,000. What uh, exactly do they want the government to do? Well, they want the government to withdraw uh, their entire uh, austerity plans, uh, which contains measures to uh, prolong the working uh, years to 67 years of age before retirement. Uh, they uh, want to uh, impose uh, austerity uh, budget cuts on culture, on uh, childcare, on education, uh, on public transportation. Uh, and they want also to skip the workers their uh, automatic uh, adaptation of salaries to the index, to the price index, which is uh, due to happen uh, early next year. And they want to skip this 2% uh, salary increase to keep up with uh, increasing prices, which is something uh, unheard of in Belgium since the late 80s. Now you say only a small portion of these protests actually turned violence, that the majority of people were peaceful and that they're very angry. Do you think we'll see more protests in the near future? Well, uh, the two major trade union centers have uh, set up a whole plan of action which uh, contains uh, regional strike movements in the next uh, three to five weeks. And then in six weeks from now, there will be a general strike, which will also be uh, a very major uh, confrontation with this rightist government and its uh, austerity measures, because we haven't had a general strike since uh, three years, I believe. All right, Bert de Belder, member of National Council of Workers' Party of Belgium, with us in the now tonight, live from Brussels. Thanks so much. Thank you to you.